Hello Lego fans, Maxine here. I have been building the new police station. New for me, not new that it's out, but it is retiring soon. So I really wanted to make sure I got hold of this modular before I missed out. So yeah, let's have a quick look at my new police station. And here it is, the finished police station. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love this modular. It is so cool. Um, like so many others, even though they're like advertised as, in this case, the police station, you get some other little buildings as well. So you get the donut shop, which I think is hilarious, like going with this stereotype that police officers all eat donuts and, and I love the colour as well it really like is a nice contrast to the, the creamy beige colour of the police station to have it nice and purple colours and there's like a little newsstand here as well with this little newsman I'm not quite sure I totally understand this part though if I'm honest it's like he's got a donut attached to this little chain thing um, if anyone can explain that to me in the comments please do because I don't understand the relevance there I mean it does say donut thief still hungry so I don't know if this guy's supposed to be the thief I mean I'm not I don't want to say he kind of looks like one because that's a bit mean of anyone one that might not shave and wear those kind of hat but <laughs> Is he the thief? I don't know. But yeah, um, maybe that is what he is. Maybe he is the donut thief. Maybe he's supposed to go into the jail and I'm complaining there's no criminal, but we have one here. But I mean, why would you stand in broad daylight, man? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> and why would you steal a donut on the end of one of these chains? I don't I don't get it. If we take the roof off, we can have a look at the first section here. So in here, I thought this was really clever as I was building it. I understood what it was I was building. But I believe this is an interrogation room. So this is like a recording sort of piece of equipment. This is obviously a chair for the police officer and the interrogator. And this is like a viewing window here, I believe. Not so that they can jump out and escape, but I believe that is what this room is here. And there's a toilet in there as well. This little black section here, I just wanted to talk about because it is a bit strange. Um, it has lots of details on the inside side but is a door to go into it it's obviously supposed to be like a little storage cupboard but it's not easy to remove this this doesn't have jumpers or anything so I do actually have to kind of take it apart to show you which isn't ideal probably a little bit of a design flaw there so just to show you what's in here it just seems to be kind of like shelves for like storing food related pieces in here and there I don't know is it supposed to be a um, evidence room maybe um for the donut thief <laughs> I'm not sure because there's like a crowbar in there and then some food bits and pieces but uh let me know your thoughts on that but that is just my trying translation of that. When we are removing the next section, I have to be quite careful, I've already kind of shimmied it off with both hands, so it actually keeps obviously the side part attached with the soaps and suds advert that goes on the side of the building, which is really cool, it's nice detail. And then in here we have the next floor, so I believe in here, I might be wrong, I think this is just like a random apartment, because it's obviously not a jail cell, it looks too nice to be a jail cell. <laughs> Got a bed, a rug, and like just like a kind of cooking station here. And there is a door that goes out to the back where you will find some stairs, almost kind of like a fire exit style, um, out to the back. And it looks to be a record player, vinyl player here as well. And then in here, I thought this was a really great use of the space because it's not a lot of space in these floors in the modulars, but I think the designers are so good at really making the most use out of it. So we've obviously got two office desks here for two workers to work away. We have a kind of evidence board here. So obviously when they're trying to work out their, uh, their crimes, that's kind of of like what this is supposed to be. I realised this once I put the rubber band on. I was like, oh, I realised what this is now. And uh, then over here, I guess we have a mugshot sort of station as well, which is quite funny. So I just maybe put a minifig and a police officer there, positioned rightly so. And if we take the next section off, just to say as well, this front part is really nice. I like how they've added these kind of blue flaps as well, to make a bit more of a detail there. And then in here is probably the most exciting floor, I would say, because we have the jail cell here. Now, I had someone say on my Instagram that they loved the, the escape sort of hole or tunnel or something somewhere and there's like a mark on the outside of the building to show this as well. I have not seen this detail. I was looking and I just couldn't see it so I don't know what they're referring to. I don't know if I'm blind but or if they're mistaken but I have not seen this detail. I don't see an escape hole or tunnel or evidence of one. I hope they've not confused the toilet for one because that's very clearly a toilet but uh, yeah let me know if you if you think there's supposed to be an escape tunnel because I don't see it. And then down here we have the entrance into the police station so obviously this is going to be kind of basic because it's meant to be kind of like a hallway reception area. So we have the nice kind of water fountain there which I thought was cool. We have a reception desk. We also have stairs that go downstairs obviously to nothing. Over here we have the very colourful donut shop which I thought was awesome. I had to put the, the kiosk person behind the desk and a police officer in there getting some coffee and a donut. But yeah I love it. I love how they did the shelves as well. This is a really clever way of doing the shelves. I didn't actually, I wasn't actually convinced they were going to stay on very well when I realised how the build worked and how they were to stay on but they do. They're very very sturdy and obviously you get lots of cake pieces for that as well. And just a very, very quick look out the back of the building as well. Oh my goodness, look! There is a crack! Oh, this is interesting! Okay, I'm gonna have to another, have another look on the inside because I have not noticed that until now. Oh my goodness. This is why it's important to always look at the back of your modulars as well because sometimes the designers will throw in little uh, 
things like this that you totally miss otherwise and I would not have even noticed that until someone mentioned it on Instagram. Until then let's just have another look at the backs because obviously I think as you can see they're worth looking at. We've got this section here so there's obviously ladders go up to the top as well of the police station so like an aerial and things like that. I think we're probably going to be jazzing up the top area with the bat signal. I mean who hasn't done that with the police station? That seems like a given. We're going to obviously put the bat signal up there. It just makes the most sense. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about that. I just think it would be hilarious. And then yeah we've got more safety stairs going all the way down to the back. And one of these doors as I said I think goes to an apartment or a flat and all the way down like this. It's almost that reminds me of Friends quite a bit because they obviously have like safety stairs that go to the back of their buildings as well. Um, and yeah this is the back of the some of the police station sections. So this is the, the cell here. I'm going to call it a holding cell because this obviously isn't like a, a jail. This is just a police station. And yeah that's where the the mugshot section was and the back door here. Right like come on guys let's go and investigate this. Okay guys I've taken off the two floors again just to get to the bottom and I cannot find where this like tunnel is supposed to be. Am I totally blind? So the the crack is like here so it's under here somewhere and I'm just uh and I'm hoping it's not like so underneath all of this that I had have to take it all apart to actually find it because that would be so annoying <laughs> and I don't really want to do it so I might just look up online what maybe other details there are supposed to be or if it's just the crack on the back. What an empty. Oh my god. So obviously if you go on the Lego website it gives away all the nooks and crannies that are on every set but I don't like to look at that first but oh my goodness. Mind blown. Okay so I've very quickly established that this is actually the uh, the criminal that comes with this set so here's me moaning that there isn't one but this is the guy here. So he is the donut thief and I now understand why he has this really strange weapon shall we call it. So it turns out this apartment over here is maybe where this guy lives or he's broken into and he's managed to like he must live there because this is why <laughs> if you lift up the bed bearing in mind this is right above the donut shop it's got a hole that goes down to the donut shop so he's supposed to like be fishing up the donuts to steal them <laughs> that's just so ridiculous I can't believe I totally missed that. I mean, I did this build. I, like, I'm the one that built it, so I should have realised that why is there a hole under the bed? Like, <laughs> this is so silly. Yeah, here's me thinking he's like a, I don't know, a, a news agent, no, not news agent, newspaper agency person because he was holding the paper. Um, But he obviously just wanted to pick up a paper about his crime because, you know, that's nice for the, the fridge, isn't it? I'll admit though, I, this hasn't been solved. There were no pictures to explain if there was another side to this. So people, hit me up in the comments. When you were building it, or if you, if you haven't built the police station yet, look out for this if there is like a tunnel through it because I'm sorry, I'm not taking this apart. It's right at the bottom of the build. I should have looked out for this, but um, I'm interested to know, is it supposed to be that he's in the holding cell and he breaks out? Yeah, tell me. Well, I feel like I should have a cone on my head right now. I feel like such an idiot <laughs> missing those obvious details now that I think of it. But as I said, because the man looked a certain way, I didn't want to think he was a criminal, but I mean, a minifig is not going to get offended. <laughs> and there it is in my lego city oh it looks so good i absolutely love the look of this modular i just really am a fan of this kind of like the look of the brickwork it is just definitely my type of thing for my city i think that's what i'm going to be trying to style my other buildings like as much as possible like any mocks that i do but uh, i love it i love that it's got like two small sections to it as well like i've already said like the donut shop and the I have two ears. Let's count. One, two. well that's creepy as I was saying before I was so really interrupted by a talking toy. Um, <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love these two small sections of buildings. It adds a little bit of dimension and like everything to the to the street. I feel like if uh, Lego were to design their modular so that they were all just like evenly um, like placed out, it wouldn't look as good. But obviously this does look like it's quite far back. I think it's partly to do with obviously the fact that I've mills plated the police station. I've not mills plated other ones. So I'm going to maybe move things around. I might not keep the police station where it is between the corner garage and the jazz club. Just kind of place it there just now just to see how it might look because before that the jazz club was next to the corner garage I just didn't think that worked because the similar brick colours kind of just flashed in a sort of way so I wanted to kind of break up the colours a bit but yeah I might uh, move it and see if it'll go somewhere else a little bit better but uh, I'm quite happy with it where it is at the moment yeah I am super happy with it I think it looks awesome and it's a really high build like again I know I've mills plated it but even without the mills plating um, I had to kind of take down the kind of little uh, aerials that were on the top just so it would fit but even without that because of this roof fit section it's so much taller. Does anyone else feel like as well, once they put a modular into their city, it 
almost feels like it was never not there. Like it was there the whole time. It feels like it should have been there the whole time. It's already joining and molding in quite nicely. But uh, yeah, I love it. Just another thing I really want to say to people as well. I've had a couple people saying, oh, I don't have space for a Lego city. I don't have Lego city yet. I've got all these modulars still to build. You can literally have a Lego city on a shelf and it's still a Lego city. It is not any less of a Lego city than anyone else. I know there's some YouTubers out there that have just amazing setups and that's great. That's fine if they have the space, but don't let space be your limitation because there's always a way. Look at ours. It's above the friggin' TV. Like you can, you can do it. Just if it's what makes you happy, then just do it. So that was my uh, kind of review overview of the PlayStation now that I've built it and added it into my Lego city. I would definitely recommend everyone get a hold of it if they haven't already before it retires. The last one on my list now is to try and get hold of the bookstore and um, we'll just see where the budget lies but hopefully I'll grab that one before it retires as well. But please answer all my questions even though we kind of stumbled across some of the answers on the way I would still be very interested to know how everyone's getting on with their Lego city and whether they have the PlayStation as well. So please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe as well because it helps me out greatly so in this early point of my journey I'm doing Lego content. Content. And yeah, if you subscribe as well, you'll be notified of more future absolutely awesome LEGO fun content. Until next time, bye!